Hi guys, it's Linda, and I thought I would share a video with you today that's kind of a long time uh, in coming. I have been uh, indulging in my um, troll beads addiction, I guess you could say, and I have been, um, well, just putting off uh, every time I get an order, I really should just film a quick little video of what I've been getting, but I just haven't had the time. So, um, I guess grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, soda, whatever it is you like, uh, maybe a snack, because <laughs> this is going to be um, a little bit of a longer video. And, um, well, I'm just going to start by showing. Um, I'm going to try to go in order here and just kind of show you some of the things that I have been purchasing. So this is the Buzzing Family Bee. And as you can see, it is beautifully detailed. Um, this particular bead I purchased, uh, well, just to remind me of my mother, of course. Um, years ago when mom and dad went to Hawaii and um, they came back and, you know, they came over, they were like, Linda, come over, you know, we bought you a, a couple little things um, from Hawaii and I went there to, you know, go visit um, you know, get my little gifts from them. Um, dad had mentioned to me that mom is always like a bee, um, always having to stick her nose in a flower. And so, of course, with the loss of my mom, um, this particular bead was a must have for me. Um, she's always loved gardening and flowers and, uh, this is going to go on a bracelet um, and always just remind me of my mom. You can just see how exquisitely uh, detailed this particular bead is. And uh, yeah, this is from the um, Autumn Collection. Another thing or other things that I purchased. Let me just kind of unwrap these here. And of course, I'm purchasing all of these with the help of um, Anna and now Jason at uh, Troll Beads Willow Bend. And this here is from the um, one of the people's well, the people people's unique kit. And this particular bead is called Traces on Purple. And I just love how, well, you can see, obviously, I got a really pretty um, purple color. It kind of goes a little fuchsia there. And then it's got that beautiful swirl pattern on it. So I wanted to make sure at least um, like this and the night sky glitter. I think that's one of the ones that I'm really wanting uh, still. But this was my initial must-have that I really wanted to get. Um, this here is from the Fall Collection. And this is the Horn Blend. And um, what I love, again, I don't have a troll bead store near me here in Colorado. And um, just getting lovely, lovely service. Um, from Anna at uh, the Troll Beads Willow Bend. And uh, she really helped me pick this beauty. Uh, I guess it focuses better when my fingers are in there. Um, best of both worlds on this one, I think. It's got a uh, little bit of black on one side, and then as it swirls around, you have quite a bit of white. So um, what's nice is I'm not going into you know, purchasing these things, um, 
blind. You know, I get to actually see the ones that I'm purchasing and pick from several and pick the one that um, I would fall in love with. So this is the Horn Blend from the Fall Collection. And then these are the Round Garnet. And this is from last year's. Uh, and again, I'll focus here, I guess. It's trying to focus on the beads in the background. These are the garnets from last year's fall collection, the little go round garnets. So I got those things all in one order. Let's see. And then. A lot of the troll bead stores um, were having like this little mystery box where if you basically each mystery box um, cost $50 and of course you're buying this um, blind, you don't know what's in the mystery box, you purchase it, you pick a number and um, then after you purchase it, they show you what's in the box. And this was from the fall mystery box. And I got this lovely pair of uniques um, that as you can see, perfect for fall. Um, it was gonna go good with uh, a lot of these beads here in my collection, as you can see. I do have some that it'll they'll go perfect with for fall. We got kind of like a stripe with a little bit of um, sparkle in there. And then this one um, kind of has a little flower or leaf detail. Um, both very pretty. I love these little mystery boxes. Whenever they have them, I jump on them because they just really are um, they're fun, a fun way to buy, and they're special. And, you know, the mystery boxes for $50, um, I mean, you're guaranteed a value of $50, but uh, you always seem to get um, a little bit more for your money when you buy them. So anytime I see those, I jump on them. Me and my friend Ollie were like, are you going to do it? And <laughs> we talk each other into it, I think. Um, one of the other things that I purchased um, when I got the, the mystery box, and this is also from the fall collection, and this I believe is called uh, just Playful Cat, and um, you can wear it on a bracelet, of course, or you can wear it on a fantasy pendant. It is meant to have... Um, a bead kind of in the, let's see if I can do this here on camera. I don't think I've seen it so much with those types of beads. Hold on. I think it's more of the rounder. So there you go. So it's meant to have like a little bead um, that it hugs around uh, like this. And of course, with me having winter and snuggle, um, this was another of the, the must-have silvers from that particular collection. And then I am now going to be moving into, so of course Troll Beads had some wonderful sales. Um, they had Black Friday sale. And... I went back and I actually placed two Black Friday orders. So you're gonna see some of the things that I purchased um, from that order. And one of these, let's see here. This is a silver bead that I have been wanting for a while. And this is just called, um, believe just ball of yarn um, is what this is and I remember um, recently too and I'll show it here I believe it was Eve Pink that I saw do this 
Um, of course, now you have the kitty uh, just kind of clutching on to this ball of yarn, and I just thought that was so cute. And this is one that I've wanted for a while. This is an older bead. I actually think it's retired now, um, but uh, kind of moved up onto my must-buy list um, with uh, the playful cat here. And then this, um, gosh, this bead has been on my wish list forever. Um, this is called Three Flowers, and uh, it has the dichroic glass. So as you can see, like this glass has more of a blue periwinkle flash to it. This one almost has like a amber aqua flash to it and then this one um, seems to have like that golden um, flash to it so this is one you know that's been on my wish list for a while it's it's a pricier bead and i was able to to get it with the black friday savings it was a toss up between this one and I believe I was looking at Nature Girl, but Anna at the store, you know, she kind of pointed out that there's only, you know, like maybe a little over a hundred overall in Troll Beads inventory. And um, I think this one, if it's not retired, it's probably soon going to be. So this was one um, that, well, has been on my wish list probably since I started collecting troll beads back in, say, 2014 or so. So that is three flowers. And then I actually went back and got a little more for the Black Friday sale. This um, is one of their leather bracelets. And this one um, is the... I want to say cherry and I thought I had written it down like the cherry and sage green um, leather bracelet and I already like on my Instagram I already posted one design with it but you know it had I had posted it with um, this serpentine bead here uh, on it along with my uh, I want to say like the plum tree um, glass which was from their troll beads day and oh, it was just so pretty you might want to go back through my feed but this will be my very first uh, troll beads leather bracelet and what you do is you put a lock and you know of course you string your beads on each one of these individual um, strands and then what you do is you fasten a lock through these two loops and then of course you wrap it around your bracelet and then the other end of the lock um, goes through one of these holes so I just thought that was such a pretty pretty color um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun, I think, in the summertime playing with that. And then some more things that I purchased um, from Black Friday. Let me undo this here. As you can see from this pillow, I purchased uh, quite a few things. <laughs> and this here is called Golden Thread. And um, this is just a beautiful warm brown. And it's kind of got this line going through it to kind of, well, I don't know, add a little interest, like the swirl or line. Um, beautiful, just warm golden color, I guess. And then this here is called 
khaki stripe. And I was amazed, like you would think this is, you know, just a pretty standard bead, you know, stripes, not a big deal. But like when Anna um, shared like all of the different khaki stripes um, that she had, um, I honed in on this one right away because to me, it almost has um, a little bit of like purple um, violet hues to it. So I kind of honed in on this particular bead for that reason. Let's see here. And then one of the other beads, and forgive me, I'm doing this, um, in a particular way so you can see. This here is called black silk. And this, um, again is is kind of a well I mean you can kind of see how it flashes different colors like it's not a flat black but then like the raised stripes on it um, are more black but uh, again similar to the golden threads um, and this is a bead that I've wanted forever. I'm not even sure if this one's retired, like if all of these are retired or not. I think they are because they're currently all in the outlet. Um, this here, this one is called Desert Flower. And again, um, you know, pretty standard bead. Uh, but again, you know, being able to hand pick the ones that you want, um, is so wonderful just due to the fact that again, so much variation, uh, just in those flowers. And of course I zeroed in on the ones, the flowers that seem to have a little more purple in them. And then this is called the uh, pink desert and this one um, again I went for glitter uh, look at all that beautiful glitter within and these are all part of um, a kit called the desert sun kit and years ago like I had purchased these beads here um and i'm sure you know anna probably has some much more spectacular ones in her in her store but um you know i had purchased these online uh right when i first started collecting these are called the blue desert and all of these beads here make up what's called the desert sun kit of course you only get um, six beads in that particular kit but um, i now have a complete what's called a desert sun kit which is you know one of my favorite kits that um, i've kind of been after so that um, are those and then um, I also purchased this particular bead. This is just called the Cream Armadillo. And uh, the Armadillo bead, I mean, it's just a beautiful, you know, it just has various ranges of cream throughout it. Just a great neutral to style with. And, um, you know, I was able to pick out a really pretty one from the Troll Beads Willow Bend. I almost think I might want to get like another one of these and maybe another one of the, the conch beads, um, just so I have more of the, I guess the creamier, um, creamier colors. It's a nice neutral. And then I did pick up another white roses bead. So starting to get a few troll beads in multiples. Um, so this is another white roses. 
I don't know, anytime, anytime you guys see me buy anything having to do with roses or flowers, um, I'm doing that because, of course, Mom, you know, she loved flowers. Her garden was her, one of her biggest joys, and so when I have these things, it just makes me think of her. And then, um, had to get this little guy. Uh, this is a unique with a sweet little reindeer. And you can see we've got one, I think it's got like three. So one, two, three, oh, no, four reindeers going all the way around. And this little guy, I just love the little bright, shiny nose. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was always one of my favorite uh, Christmas carols. So I'm going to have fun styling this on a bracelet. Let's see. Oops. Whoa, almost, <laughs> almost lost the camera there. All right, so that is it for Black Friday. And then um, the winter collection came along. And so here are some things that I purchased from the winter collection. <laughs> and this is why I told you guys to grab a cup of coffee or tea to drink. So this here, this one is called the Lucky Star Bead. And just a beautiful um, silver bead. I like that the way it's styled, as you can see, um, this can be used as a splitter. You see, you can also wear it on a fantasy necklace. You can wear it on your bracelet like so or you can thread the fantasy necklace up through there and then have the chain go out this side as well as that side. So very versatile bead. And this really has a nice tr uh, price point for troll beads too. Uh, it's only like $39 US. So, and it's a nice large size as well. So I got that. And then in this, oh, this one, I just gasped when I saw this in real life. Um, this is the blue gold stone. I'll show the gold stone first here because this is just spectacular, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I am in love. I think I'm going to need to get me another one of these. Look at that beautiful blue color and just all the little stars um, in the background there. Um, and then of course this is one of those uh, hugger beads again. This is framed by stars. I'll just show it by itself. And it's a star and it just kind of swirls around. And of course, it is meant to be worn like this, where it is hugging um, a bead. So we've got framed by stars, the blue gold stone, and then the lucky star bead. And then, let's see here. I also, from the winter collection, purchased these. Um, and these are the Misty Bubble Joy and the Christmas Wish beads. So these are the Misty Bubble Joys. And again, um, these actually came out with a really nice price point. And I kind of liked, um, well, these were my favorite out of all the Misty Bubble Joys. I think I'm going to still go back and get the Shimmer Bubble, which is kind of a um, like a 
brownish gold amber color and then I think I want the frosty bubble which is more the white oh and then they have like the darker blue one I I really think I just want them all um, <laughs> be honest with you but I wanted to start off with a pair of the Misty Bubble Joys. I just love that bluish, grayish color. And then this one is called the Christmas Wish. This one's limited edition. And um, again, on this one, I just love that galaxy and that star just kind of swirling around. Um, I was able to pick, as you can see, a really pretty one. Again, so much variation uh, in these beads because they are all handmade. So that's what I got from the winter collection. And then um, Troll Beads again had another one of their mystery boxes. So again, $50 for the box. And, you know, you pick a number and then they, you know, after you purchase it, they open up the box live for you. And this is what I got. It was um, when they were advertising it, they said it's going to go really well with the winter collection. And uh, what this is, is this is the serpentine bead um, from the spring collection. And then this silver one is called the night dream bead. And like here is the night dream bead. And you can see it's kind of got like a crescent moon there. And then of course, all the little bumps I think are supposed to represent the stars in the sky. So just a beautiful, beautiful little bead. And then we have the serpentine. And believe me guys, I was thrilled when I got this box. Oh my gosh. I love this serpentine hole. Um, I already have one. Like that is uh, the first stone that I bought from, this was from last year's, was it last year's? Or no, this year's spring collection. Um, the serpentine was one uh, that I wanted um, right away. And as you can see, I have one right here. So now I have a beautiful um, second one. And um, yeah, I, I do agree. Um, you know, it does go well. <laughs> with the winter collection, uh, the things that I purchased. So I was thrilled um, with my mystery box. Um, I hope they do another one here soon. I need to do one like every quarter, and I love buying them. And then, guys, I got really lucky. Um, they troll beats willow bend uh and i think all the troll bead store they had a, a thing on instagram and facebook where uh and this was i think around thanksgiving where they you know they were like comment with an emoji on who you are thankful for and the emoji i chose um was a rose um, for my mother you know because of course i'm thankful for how she raised me and well, just for everything that she did for me um, growing up. And I truly feel like I have an angel, <laughs> um, you know, that helped me uh, because she, I actually won this. Um, I won this bracelet for that particular contest. And I wholeheartedly believe that mom was entirely responsible for it. This is the Heart Ripples um, bracelet and it's got this beautiful stone or stone. It's got this beautiful um, blue glass bead 
with these swirls going through it. And then of course it's got um, this silver bead. That's a heart with, of course, the swirls as well. And then, you know, it, this is like one of their starter bracelets. So it comes with the bracelet itself, the silver charm, the glass bead, and then it has the lock and the lock uh, emulates um, the theme of the bracelet because it's got all the swirls in it as well. And uh, again, just so thankful that I was able to win this. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. And I'm going to definitely have fun um, designing with it. I don't buy a lot of blue. Um, I need to. I mean, you can kind of see in the background here a lot of the colors that I do tend to gravitate towards, and blue is uh, one that I need to look into getting a little more. Okay, and let's see here. And then um, some more recent purchases. Now, recently, um, in December, Troll Beads, um, they have like a special every day. And one of the specials that they had was the Troll Beads collector's case, which is what um, I'm filming on here. Uh, you know, it's got all these wonderful charm bars, you know, where you can, you know, put your beads. It kind of reminds me of a little abacus, if you remember doing that when you were little. Or, well... Some of you that are younger probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but um, some of you that are like my age, you get it. <laughs> but um, I got, you know, I, I messaged the store and said, I'd love one of those and, you know, I'd like to purchase one. And then, you know, the lovely Jason at Troll Beads will have end. He's like, hey, I'd be remiss in telling you, you know, we also have a, a thing where if you spend up to $250, you get... Um, a bangle free. So I'm not one to pass up a deal. Like these cases I think are normally like 175 and it was on special for like 99 So um, I did purchase a couple beads to get up to the $250 mark and this is what I purchased. And Again, um, you know, a bumblebee, because again, mom. And uh, this is amber. Um, this is called Wings of Amber. And, um, you know, amber from, you know, back in the, you know, in the dinosaur ages. Um, it was fossilized. Um, you know, there might even be like some of these little inclusions and things. I mean, that might be little insects and things for all I know. But um, Jason helped me pick uh, just the most magical uh, amber, wings of amber bead. And I just love the little bumblebee um, that you can see there just sitting on top of it. It is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. And then the other thing that I purchased was the, um, oh, I'm trying to remember what this one is. I want to say it is the Feldspar Quartz. So this is the Feldspar Quartz from um, the same spring collection that the Serpentine uh, released from. And, you know, I again was able to hand pick a beauty. And so I just really, really love, I love the neutral. I think this will go, you know, really well um, with this cream armadillo and like if you see this back here like this um, are some of the 
the white beads, you know, that I have, um, that I've collected over the years. I think this one's Scirocco. Oh gosh, I can't remember what this one is. Um, something with purple. This one's Cozy. White Paper Fold. White Stripe. These are Blizzard. That's the Conch Bead. White Roses. And then the White Diamond Bead. Um, you know, these are going to go... Uh, just really well with all of those and then of course the free gift was um, a bangle and this is just the heart bangle and I don't know if you can see it but like the ends of a bangle there make a little heart and of course, um, you know, just so easy to slip, you know, beads onto the troll beads bangles. And of course you purchase, a, you know, you get stoppers so they stay on. But um, I now have another troll beads bangle. And now we're nearing the home stretch, guys. Um, there was recently a special on Instagram where, you know, again, these troll beads jorts um, were running a trivia contest and um, I was able to answer nine out of 10 questions and for answering those questions right, like depending on how many right you answered, you receive a discount and with the discount, um, I really treated myself and I got a couple stones and one more bead from the autumn collection. So I purchased a beautiful gray moonstone. As you can see, it's got this beautiful flash to it. And again, Jason was able to help me um, choose just a beauty. And then the one that I am most in love with is the Labradorite that I purchased. And, you know, this I am just thrilled with. Um, I don't know if you can see. This here is a Labradorite that I had purchased um, just from the online store. And while it's a beautiful, you know, olive color, you can see the difference between being able to hand pick and have that beautiful flash and then buying sight unseen. So um, I am just thrilled with this Labradorite. And I, well, it's probably not going to be my last one. I think I want to get another beautiful one with a flash like this. Because, um, yeah, look at that, guys. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I did treat myself um, to one of the on-top beads from the fall collection. And it just kind of hugs your bead just like that. Uh, it's like a, I guess, a Mandela type bead. As you can see, I guess just as easy to show you like that. But it is just beautiful, just beautiful hugging, um, hugging the beads. And I think it can also be used kind of on a fantasy necklace, you know, either on top, like, you know, the name suggests, or even um, kind of hugging and cupping on a fantasy necklace. So 
that guys is my collective troll beads haul um this black collectives case here that you see in the background that is uh part of my troll beads haul and uh, maybe one of these days I will kind of film a collection of how I've, I'm putting everything away and organizing my collection. I know everyone likes seeing um, organization videos, um, so maybe that'll be something I film next. But um, thank you guys for spending all this time with me. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you have a wonderful day.